All right, yo, 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 yo. It's another tutorial function practice from Mr. Lane and the Lane Vision. All right, here we go. So today what we're learning about is how to use a function in a function, okay? First function is going to check whether we have the correct number and only the options that we give the people. The second function is actually gonna run our program and also use the number from the first function. All right, and then we're going to use a while statement so that people can keep playing again and again and again. All right, here we go. First thing we're going to do is we are going to import random because we're going to need a random integer. And we're going to import time because we need to use the time. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a define a function. And the function is going to be called, we're going to call it road fork because we are giving people the option of choosing a fork in the road. Okay. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to define a variable and we're going to call it fork and we're going to assign it to a blank string, okay, just to kind of create it and initialize it. Second thing we're going to do is we're going to create a while statement. So while fork does not equal, so remember does not equal is a exclamation point, uh, and we're going to do the string of one and fork does not equal the string of two, okay, then we are going to have print out um, please choose a direction to go. And we're going to give them a choice of one or two. Okay. Now, to close this out, we are now going to turn fork into a user input. All right. Now, the way I used to teach you is we used to put the question inside the input. This is just another way to do it. It all works the same. I'm just showing you guys different ways. Um, and then out here, because we've got to be on the same line as the return, is we're going to return fork okay so it's gonna return the answer that we give so how this works is somebody's gonna it's going to run and it's gonna please choose direction to go if they don't enter one or two it's going to keep asking them until they enter one or two so that kind of eliminates a lot of possibilities for errors in your program next we're gonna define another function this is gonna be to check it so we're gonna check fork and inside which is our parameter is going to be road fork so we are going to take what we used in the last uh, function and we're gonna run it right in here, okay? So, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna create the story for our little project here. So, you come to a fork in the road, all right? Now, we're gonna use a time.sleep here to make it a little bit more dramatic, okay? So they're all printing out at once, it's going to kind of give us. Now, this was something that was used way back in the day in old text adventure games. So there's like uh, there's like the original Ultima game. There was a, uh, an RPG game on uh, back when America Online was the big thing in the early 90s and people could go in this room and then they could just like join other people and it'd be this text adventure. And then when you fought enemies, there'd be like a little bit of a wait between each uh, print statement that came up. So that's what we're kind of doing right now. Um, and the reason I stopped right there because I was using my hands to explain, but you guys can't see me doing that. So, you know, you know, I'm just kind of giving you the, uh, the verbal, you know, just like we're trying to give somebody the verbal when they play this game. So you come to a fork in the road, uh, there, and you know what we should add? Dot, 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 because that guy lives a little bit more. There is no sign. Okay. We're going to give it another time dot sleep. We're going to give it another two, and then we're going to print out. Um, you make the choice to go, dot, 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 dot. And we're going to give it a little space, so it's just a blank print statement. We're going to give it another time dot sleep. Okay, like I said, all about the dramatics. Now, going too long is going to be annoying for the user, so don't be goofy and make it 10, because nobody's going to wait for that. Um, 
okay and now what we're going to do is we are going to create a new variable which will be the random variable so in this case of a fork in the road usually it's right or left so we're going to choose right fork okay and that is going to equal the random dot rand so rand int for integer let's get this right because i know that's something that we kind of screw up on one dash two or one comma two so one comma two means that there's only two options okay now we have to check it so how do you check uh if something's true or false if would be the key word here okay so if we're gonna choose road fork which we're gonna pull okay from up here all right is equal to right fork then what's gonna happen we're gonna print a message and it's going to be print okay uh, you made a choice to go and then you just want to kind of work with that um, I'm gonna just say towards the right path okay and then else since there's only two options we don't really need to worry about it and then we're gonna print same deal um, towards the left path all right okay and that's it that's the function we don't need to return a value here um, because we're not using it again and what we're going to do now is now we're going to actually create the part of the program to make it work so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a loop to have people keep on playing again and again so think about this kind of like the ghost game okay uh, so while so first again we're going to set play again so we got to create a variable first and we're going to create this to yes okay and now we're going to use a while statement so while play again is equal to either yes okay or play again is equal to y just to make life easier for when you test it um, and then that's it so we are going to run our program so the first thing we want to do is we want to make a um, a variable okay um, and make that equal to our first function so it makes it easier so we are going to choose road fork uh, which is the function so just so you know that you can actually set a variable to a, to a function um, and then we are going to run the main part of the program which is check fork and in inside the parentheses since we set a variable we can put fork number okay and it's still going to run everything the same and once we're done with fork number then we can print out um, would you like to play again and put in parentheses um, yes or no and like this and we're going to add that so it makes sense and then we're going to make play again equal to input and this should all work to our advantage so let's take a run and please choose a direction to go now this isn't dramatic as it should be you should make it more dramatic but you know this is more just a test you come to a fork in the road dramatic there's no sign dramatic you make a choice to go toward the left path okay would you like to play again and in this case we know that we set up y so you can just press it again and look at this please choose a direction i'm going to choose two uh you come to a fork in the road there is no sign you make a choice to go oh we chose the left path again nice all right we're gonna play one more time and we're just gonna try a different number oh nope 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 nothing i can press anything until i press one again and it works bam boom bing and pow here it comes towards the left path um and you get three left paths and you start thinking to yourself man does the right path work and i'm starting to kind of be like does my program work and look at that again and we're just going to try it one more time because you're thinking you're going crazy but quite literally it's just like flipping a coin you could get four in a row five in a row six in a row and every time it's making you go crazy and that's probably just your mind thinking that it's not right 
but eventually it should work toward the left half, I hope. And it's not. At this point, you gotta think to yourself, there could be something wrong, okay? And when we go up here, what we're gonna realize is that this is a string, this is a string, this is an integer, which means this is an integer. So this is where we actually use the str, and we turn this into a string, okay? Now we can run it again, and come to a fork in the road, there is no sign, you make a choice to go, and toward the right path. So just make sure that everything is set. It was always going to else because it was never going to work without the str for right fork, okay? So yes, sometimes you think you're crazy, all right? That happens. Sometimes there's something that you missed in your program, okay? so. I hope you guys enjoyed it. You need to use this as an example for Dragon Realms, okay? This is a big example. Use it, feel good about it, and you know, kind of like when I have what I've written in the base program that you're gonna download, go back to this video, go back to the work that you did on this, check it, okay? You definitely can use this as your example. It's really set up nicely, okay? Have a good one, enjoy yourselves, and bam!